Hey guys, so today I thought it might be kind of interesting for me to show you how I groom my standard poodle Arlo. what we do every day for cleaning practices and I'll show you kind of what we do um, and I'll tell you if there's something that we don't actually do every day but just kind of like every few days but to give you guys a little bit of an idea I bathe him every week and I shave his face and his paws and his genital area once a week and then as for things like getting a full haircut that maybe happens once a month just because I try to let his coat grow out and all the natural oils be present. His fur, his hair, is very, very soft and it's very fine. So it does get matted easily if I don't do these things like every day. So if you're thinking about getting a standard poodle, watch this video first to find out kind of what I do. And I might be a little bit anal about it, that's just me. But I will show you guys kind of what is expected just in for my dog in general. I hope this is educational. <laughs> I'm gonna go product by product here, but this is the litany of products that I have to go through to groom him. Um, there's a lot of them. So this is skin tonic. So the first thing that I would do when grooming him is take care of any issues that he has on his skin, like hot spots. Um, and I would also use this spray as well. So these two things would happen first. This one is by um, Nature Vet. It is Hemp Hot Spot Spray with Aloe Vera. It helps to relieve um, itchy skin, that kind of stuff. And then this is Wonderside Natural Products Skin Tonic Spray. This one was given to me by my friend, Michaela. So we are going to do those two items first. So the next thing here is saline solution. And usually you would only need to use this if your dog's looking like they might be getting an eye infection or an ear infection. You would just rinse out that area with this saline solution. But since poodles are really prone to tear stains, I try and use this on the outside of like the skin near Arlo's eyes pretty much every day just to make sure that, that doesn't happen. And it's been pretty good. Obviously he's he's got black fur, so like it doesn't really show up too well, but I notice. I've noticed that using this saline solution definitely helps. So just like kind of around here is where I want to get it. This stuff is waterless shampoo. So it is by Tropiclean. My friend Michaela got me this because I really like hers, but so this is the kind that she got me because I think it smells really good. But normally we use this waterless shampoo. It's just from Walmart, nothing crazy. Coconut lime is the one that um, I kind of like and it's oatmeal, so it's really good for moisturizing dry skin. But um, she got me this for my birthday and we haven't gone through all of it yet, so we're still using it. It's really nice, it smells really good and it foams up so that you just kind of rub it into your dog's fur. And it's very cleansing, and then also it helps keep their skin moisturized. The next stop on our grooming train is the stuff for dogs. So basically it's a conditioning spray. It's like leave-in conditioner. Just put it on his fur and spray it anywhere that it needs. Kind of like if it's like getting stuck. And also, the same time that I use this stuff, I start out with our comb. We usually start out with the thicker spaced ones and we move on to the thinner ones. And then after that, we go into for the slicker brush, which is just the next step in the brushing process. 
And then we have our flea comb for styling his top knot in his ears. So we are gonna do kind of that big process now. The next thing on my list is my teeth scaling kit, but I actually won't be doing that today. I try only to do that like once every two weeks or so, just to make sure that the enamel on his teeth is safe. He doesn't usually need it because he chews on antlers, but I do keep it around and I do scale his teeth probably once every two weeks. So the actual next thing that we're gonna be doing is teeth brushing and breath spraying. So here's his toothbrush. We've got fresh breath, clean teeth, toothpaste, and then I use a second toothpaste, which is vanilla mint flavored, um, just because he likes this one better. And then we do the fresh breath oral care canine mouth spray. So that is kind of our next step. So next, our little process here is the ears. We use a bunch of different kind of ear washes, but this is the one that we're using right now. It's tea tree oil, Nature Valley Vet, or Nature Vet ear wash, baby powder scent. It is really good for getting down irritations. So if your dog is prone to ear infections, this is really good for that. The color is kind of weird, but you know, it's okay. And then, so we put that in there and we kind of squish it around a little bit and then let it set. And then I would use this to dry out the ear and get all the wax out that this washes out. And then I would use some of this gold metal pets ear powder. It dries the ear canal and it, you know, helps him stop itching. And then also it makes it less painful when we are plucking his ears, which if you guys don't know, poodles really need to get their ears plucked because their ear hair grows and then it can harbor a ton of wax and can cause a lot of bad ear infections if you don't get it plucked. So some people will have their vets do it. I do it myself with this ear powder. Well, usually Michaela really likes to do it. She's pretty good at it. So we put this ear powder in, it dries the ear out, and then we pluck his ears. However, today we are just gonna be doing the ear wash and then wiping it out and then using the ear powder because he did have his ears plucked recently, so we're not gonna pluck anything. We're just gonna use the ear powder to dry out the ear canal after we're done putting the wash in. And then the last thing that we do before like a final brush down, cause we do like one more brush after we're all done just to kind of like slick it out. But the final thing that we do before that is we clip his nails and then we dremel them with this little dremel. And then we put some paw nectar on all of his paws. He doesn't really have an issue with his paws being like dry or anything, but I like to put it on there just because it, you know, it protects the paws. So we just clipped his nails recently. So I'm just gonna, do a little bit of an extra dremeling and use the paw nectar. And there you have it, a freshly groomed and very proud poodle. So he's all brushed out. It's still, it's not like styled or anything, but he's just brushed, brushed out so there's no, no tangles. His teeth have all been brushed. He has very, like, his quicks are very short already, but just, he, you know, I've trimmed his nails down. They're very short. He's been groomed everywhere else. He's brushed all over. His ears are clean, so we've got a very clean boy. Nice puppy. Yes, so yeah, that's kind of all we do for grooming, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I hope it was helpful if you guys are thinking of getting a poodle, um, and you wanna know kind of what it takes to groom them every day to make sure that they're all clean and fresh and soft. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in whatever we make next. Bye. <laughs>